the United States. Uh, I have a statement here, and let me say in advance, I won't, I can't. Uh, it's Monday, and I have a very heavy schedule and a meeting waiting for me, but uh, Ed Meese and these gentlemen from the Justice Department are here for a complete briefing of anything, any questions that you may have on this subject. Since the early days of this administration, we've been working to make America a safer place for all our citizens. Last year, we launched the Attorney General's Task Force on Crime. Based on their proposals, we worked with the Senate Judiciary Committee to develop an omnibus anti-crime package which revises the bail and parole systems and requires tougher federal penalties for drug trafficking. The measure also requires a judge to take into account the suffering of the victims when it comes time to sentence a criminal. The administration has been pushing for enactment of that package, and I hope that the Senate will bring it to a vote in the next several days. On other fronts, we've appointed a task force on victims of crime, and that group will begin hearings this week here in Washington. In the near future, you will also be hearing more from us about what we can do to stem narcotics crime. Today, we're sending to the Congress another important installment in our fight against crime. It's a legislative package that I believe offers great hope for improvements in the way that our courts handle criminal cases. These measures will simplify the justice system and make it more likely that those who commit crimes pay a price. The American people want a system of justice they can understand and they can have confidence in. And this is our goal as well. Working with the Congress, I believe we can deliver a serious blow to the criminal elements in our society. And ladies and gentlemen of the press, I now turn you over to Ed Meese and these gentlemen from the Justice Department. Do you have anything to do with this crime package? Uh, I said that I wouldn't take any questions. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, I played football a few times there in Bloomington against Illinois Wesleyan a long time ago. But now, as honorary president of the Boy Scouts of America, it's a pleasure to join with all those gathered in Bloomington today to congratulate you on becoming the one millionth Eagle Scout in our nation's history. Well, listen, this accomplishment is not only represents a major achievement in your own life, but it also demonstrates the important contributions that scouting continues to provide to so many young people. You, I know, must be very proud, and indeed you should be very proud of this outstanding honor, as I'm sure your parents and your friends are. Well, your hard work and high ideals have carried you on a successful journey through the ranks of scouting, and along the way I know you've learned many valuable lessons and have built a framework in which to constructively lead the rest of your life. You've joined an elite group of scouts, too, because some of them are close associates of mine, former President Gerald Ford, Secretary of uh, Health and Human Services in this administration, Richard Schweiker, Secretary of Housing and Urban Development, Samuel Pierce, and our good friend, Jim Brady. Your accomplishments in scouting are indeed something to be very proud of, and I join you in extending my congratulations and best wishes for many more prospective years to come. Well, it's been a pleasure to be able to participate even from long distance there in, in uh, what's going on. So please give my best to your family and, and friends and again to you. Congratulations. All right. Goodbye.
ten feet. Like they fourteen have feet. Yeah, and they're all the national national national. It appear the efforts to uh, bring about new curbs on abortion are dead for this year. Um, I don't. I can't take questions at a at a photo opportunity, so I I can't take uh, take that question. Right, please. But I. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the kickoff of the combined federal campaign. It's a type of giving that I have long believed in, many great, great many years. Uh, it's tied in with the United Way and the business I used to be in, the motion picture industry at its own uh, drive, single drive, the most efficient, the lowest administrative overhead. Last year, uh, we broke all records in the in the combined federal campaign. This is for the uh, government employees and government personnel, military to give. And Hugh Lewis is the chairman this year. I'm going to break the record again. I hope so. And mm -hmm. the gentlemen here are chairmen in their various departments and agencies of government. And so I am going to sign the pledge card here. I guess this, is the, this will be the first. That will be the first. Mm -hmm. All right. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Right. How much are you going <laughs> You learn my tax returns. <laughs> <laughs> this is 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. I'll see if you know the zip code. <laughs> that I don't know. <laughs> but since you won't have to dun me for it, since I've already, whoops, already made that out by. Yeah. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. I'll make mine when I get back to the office. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Well, I thank you all for all that you're going to do. Thank you, thank you Mr. President. Thank, 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 thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you for the support you're giving all of us and making more over the top. We'll do our best. Right. Thank you. I'm going to follow him. I'm sure he signed his card. <laughs>